Hi everyone, I'm Anna Timmerman with the LSU Ag Center. We're here today in the New Orleans Botanical Garden in the Pollinator Walk. And today we're gonna to talk about host plants for many of our native Louisiana butterfly species. First up here, we have what's known as a senna or a cassia tree. Now there are native sennas and cassias, there are non-native sennas and cassias, but they all grow fabulous in most parts of Louisiana. You can see these lovely yellow blooms that actually look sort of similar to the butterfly that hosts on this plant, which would be the cloudless sulfur butterfly. It's got that same bright yellow coloration and the caterpillars will actually eat the leaves of this shrub and then pupate on the shrub in a cocoon that's mimicked to look like one of these leaves. So they're kind of hard to notice. These cassias are not cold hardy. They do die back in a freeze, but they usually come back from the roots. This is a citrus tree, it's actually a lemon, and it's looking a little rough. That's actually a good thing where we are in the botanical garden, so we're not gonna spray anything on this tree. Citrus trees are a host plant for the giant swallowtail butterfly. If a lot of people notice, it looks like bird poop, which is actually a camouflage mechanism for the caterpillars to protect it from predation. So the giant swallowtail butterflies will actually use any kind of citrus or hop trees. Uh, I have a wafer ash hop tree in my backyard. That's their preferred native species to host on, but they love, love, love citrus. This here is a Dutchman's pipe vine. There's also native pipe vine species in Louisiana, particularly the woolly pipe vine. Both the native and the non-native pipe vine are used by the pipe vine swallowtail butterfly. We prefer to plant the native because the caterpillars do a little better and thrive and pupate a little more efficiently on the native compared to the Asian species of pipe vine. But you can plant both. I have both in my yard. Another Louisiana native that the butterflies love is the maypop or passion flower. We have two native species, the incarnata and the lutea. This is the incarnata and this is a host plant for the gulf fritillary butterfly. The caterpillars look quite scary. They're orange and they have black spikes, so they look like they're gonna sting you, but it's a trick. They actually don't sting and you can pet them. They're actually quite soft. Of course, the most popular and most talked about host plant for our gardens is milkweed to support the monarch butterflies, which are experiencing a lot of population problems. Milkweed comes in many varieties, but here in Louisiana, we like to grow the aquatic milkweed. It makes a beautiful white flower. And we also have tropical varieties, which have more of a tropical vibe to them. They get a little bigger, um, and the caterpillars like them as well. If you enjoy butterflies around your garden, consider adding some host plants to attract even more of them into your space. It's a great thing to do. It makes our garden connected to nature a little bit more. And of course, there's so many butterflies to enjoy.